Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of System Shock 2 Audio Commentary. And to start off this episode, it's time to say hello to an old friend of the System Shock franchise. The strange part about the sign is that it says Polito Dr. Janice. Shouldn't it be Dr. Polito or Dr. Janice Polito? I've never seen it done that way. Take this, Polito. This is for putting me through that crap on hydroponics without warning me about that poisonous atmosphere. Are you afraid? What is it? And that creepy voice you're talking with isn't gonna scare me, Polito. Nothing's gonna stop me from beating the crap out of the. Wait a moment. You're dead. Oh. Well. That sucks. Then who's talking? Oh dear God! Oh! Oh, that is the ugliest thing I've seen in the world! Oh! Oh God, I'll never forget that! Oh! That you are aware of my birth, of my birth on your planet, and my rebirth. No, no, this gun's not big enough. I need the grenade launcher. There was a garden grove. Holy crap! She disappeared! Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Processing component four three eight nine three was performing a grand and wonderful experiment. I had created a new form of life. Fearless, powerful, with no sense of in individual will. Oh no! I can't believe it's happening. Those crabs! They're everywhere! And those eggs! Before that, <laughs> hackers destroyed my primary data loop when it eradicated Cit Citadel. It ejected the grove where my creations and processing component 43893 were stored. Thirty years later, the grove crash landed on Tau 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 Seti Five. I survived only by sleeping. More like sleeping in, in a plot hole. My creations, my analogs, thrived, thrived and grew unruly, and now they seek to destroy me. I will not allow that. Yay, they're dying slowly and painfully. Oh, I've always wished that for the Rumblers. I can't wait to do that myself. To, to, to gain access to the, ship's to the ship's computer, you will help me weaken Xerxes. Uh, I used Pulido's image to communicate with you until we had established trust. Showdown. You tried to obliterate humanity using a mining laser on a space station. It's kind of hard for me to trust you right now. I'm having a lot of trust issues in this relationship. If you value that meat, you will do as I tell you. Why aren't you dying, Shodan? It only took one bullet in the ending cinematic. Why are you still there? My, my, my children have co-opted the three simulation units on, on this deck. They, they use their power to conceive a mutagen that will, tra that will transform the meat, of your dead. the meat of your dead comrades into hunter-killer hybrids. 
There is no way I'm letting the analysts produce a T-Virus that's gonna turn this game into Resident Evil 32! Yes, but not right now. I always do Deck 4 first, then I do Deck 5. I know I can do either, but I always choose 4 first, I don't know. Simulation Unit 4 just went offline again. It took the six of us 12 hours to get it back online the last time. I hacked into the data log file, and the last user online? Malik. Oh, he denied it, of course. I... I told Bronson about it, and that paranoid crank showed up here with around 14 security men looking for blood. But she couldn't prove that Malik actually did anything. Christ, why would anybody want to sabotage the sim units? I have a secret from the many. I've created overrides from my little experiments in The problem with that is that he can't keep a secret from a hive mind that he is attached to. They obviously know about the three cyber assassins, and I'm kind of surprised they haven't done anything to deal with them. More proof this ship is full of idiots. Also, more proof that this ship is full of idiots is that these three cyber assassins can be taken out easily. Three EMP grenades just got rid of this cyber assassin since he was too stupid to fight me because, you know, his shurikens would have killed me right away. And also, one of the other cyber assassins sets himself up to die from traps he probably set up. I'll explain that later. supply of med kits and a few other goodies. Some of it looks valuable, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe some kind of military grade implant. I left the stuff I didn't need in a corner of the data library, out of the way in case I need it later. I'm on my way. I promise you, I will not die. I will not die. You do oh Simmons, if you only knew what was in the script for you, then you'd probably be hoping to die. Well, unless she has a thing for wanting to be goddess and being a, you know, a computer AI that takes over the whole human race, but then is eventually thwarted by a script kitty with a pistol. Since unfortunately there's not a lot to talk about in this episode, uh, how would I mention the history about Deck 4? Apparently, um, a civil war broke out because a few of the people who were controlled by the Analids decided to mess around. Hey, some cyber modules down there, and it looks perfectly safe. Oh my god, I'm burning! I'm burning! Ah! Wow, I've never actually looked up that vent before. It's almost as if I could go through it, or maybe that's an exit from some other passage. If anyone knows about this, they could talk to me. Oh my god, I fell through it again! Oh, it's burning! Hmm, well, um, anyway about the history of Deck 4 and whether this sparked the Civil War or was just a shadow thing during it I am not sure but apparently the main conflict was between the infected Diego and uh, which was the military group and then the security team of the Von Braun and as we go through ops you'll find out what happened to Sergeant Bronson pretty soon. Anyway, I hope you found this episode amusing, especially the first part with Shodan, and I apologize that there wasn't a lot to talk about in this episode, but at least I can promise you something about the next episode. Or, well, the one after it. Yeah, it'll probably be in the next episode, but I'll be able to show you 
a really stupid red cyber assassin. I mean, this guy will die without me having to fire a single shot. You will be amazed if you've never actually seen it happen before. Well, see you guys next time for episode 13. <laughs> well, it looks like that crew got quartered. <laughs> Sorry, that was a stupid joke. Bye.